I am an air traffic controller for tutorial. Uh, this is the game ATC4, and I'm going to do a little overview, which will be in a tutorial format, about the game. So obviously over here you have the radar map, and there is a ground map, and there is a regional map. Up at the top you have the time. It's the start time for the game and the end time for the game. Uh, the number of aircraft that have landed and arrived, the risk, and your score. Almost any time you do an action, you're going to get a score. And risk is if two planes are too close to each other. A lot of these options over here are not really necessary. You don't have to worry about it. You should be concerned with these. And what's going to happen is the green aircraft, for example, this is Blue Airlines 245, Red Airlines 115, they're going to be moving to the tower and then for departure. The blue one is going to move from one part of the airport to another part of the airport. So what he's going to do is he's going to be switching his gate. The yellow ones are the aircraft that are arriving. So this is an arriving aircraft, and this is an arriving aircraft. They're going to move towards the tower, and then they're going to move to ground handling. I'm not sure what this is, but I think it means delays. Over here we have the information about the aircraft. It has the airline and the flight number, it's got a line connected to the aircraft, it has the runway that it's landing on, 34L, which is right here on the map. It's the left uh, runway. Spot 81 is where it's gonna park. And unfortunately, you don't know where spot 81 is but I'm guessing that it might be one of these triangles that's grayed out. You know, there's too many triangles over here that are grayed out. You see over here where it says, where it has like a blue circle? That might be where it's landing. For example, you notice that the blue circle moved when I clicked on the other aircraft. And then we've got the time that it's supposed to arrive, and then it will show you the time that it's going to depart. For example, this one says 8 o'clock to 8.19. There's a status over here that says in flight. It has the heading. All this information is not really useful, but the distance is kind of useful because you want to know if there's a chance that it might have a problem with another aircraft. Because obviously if it does, he has to either change the runway or he has to go around. So what's going to happen is the aircraft are going to appear in red when you're ready to do something. In this case, it needs to be towed out. You see where he is? He's blue on the minimap, and then there's a, a blue circle. He is going to go to that location. So you click the button to start the pushback, and then we're going to have to do another one to assign a route to get him there. In general, you want to handle the ones that are more on the right. These guys on the right here are high priority, and then these, and then these, and then these, and then these. Over here we have an aircraft that is where I'm looking at on the minimap. It says Red 115, and it has to go to 34R, where the blue circle is flashing.
This guy's got landing clearance. I already checked. He's cleared for landing. You can see he's this aircraft right here. And this one, I'm going to zoom it out. You see where the blue circle is? So he's got a head down there. So we're going to bring him out. It doesn't have every feature that I expected. I've played games that had a few more features in terms of handling aircraft, like reducing their airspeed or, or telling them to climb to a different altitude or having them reroute. Like you can't reroute it right now. You can only reroute it if it gives you the option to do that. So now he's going to start taxiing. And you notice whenever I do an action, my score is increasing. And you want to switch back and forth between um, the sky and the ground. You can turn all these off, which means you're not going to hear the chatter. But you can hear the announcements in the airports, the announcements on the planes. Like, they'll tell you to prepare for takeoff, they'll tell you to prepare for landing, etc. You can pause the game uh, so you can see what's going on. Now, the blue is usually the direction where the aircraft are going to land, and the red is the direction it's going to take off into. My understanding is that the 05 means that it's at 5 degrees, but I'm not an expert in uh, air traffic control. There only is one um, airport that comes with the game. When you do the taxing, I'm going to show you how to do a route. We're going to approve the taxiing for this one. You click on these circles and it will find its route to where it wants to go. And you do want to respond to these as quickly as possible because if you don't, you could have a dangerous situation. Okay, so that's my basic tutorial about the game. The only other thing you really need to know is you got to watch what's going on over here because if two planes are going in opposite directions and one blocks the other, it will be game over. So you have to make sure that you have a strategy. The strategy I use is if they're going south, they stay in the gray, and if they're going north, I put them in the blue. Uh, so here we have an example where I wasn't paying attention. And so now my risk factor went up. So he's doing fine. Just because I didn't contact him, it said that risk is increasing. And you don't want your risk value to get too high. Okay, so that is my tutorial for the game. That's basically how you play the game. You're going to play it out. I've set this for 14 hours of gameplay. You cannot save the game. That's basically it. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to my forum at cheapbooks.cc and look for I am an air traffic controller for, or just look for the air management games. Or you could go to my website, cheapbooks.com, which is a website for books and textbooks. Or if you have any questions, you can post them below. I do read and respond to every comment. So in the remainder, I'm going to show some of the some of the gameplay. So you got an aircraft. We got an aircraft coming in. You want to use the fast exit.
the reason why you want to use fast exit is because I had a risk of a near collision once because there was a plane at the end of the runway trying to exit while the other plane was landing. You can see with the arrows where it's heading, and you can see with the arrows where the planes land or take off from. You notice that this one did his, oh, I guess I already did route him. There's a potential problem over here where this aircraft could come across this one. you got to watch what's going on on the ground. If it's one following the other, it's not a problem. But if they're head on, then it is. And one can be a lot faster than the other. So don't assume because he looks like he's almost there that he's going to be fine. You'll notice that his route does conflict with the other aircraft. So I'm going to do a route change. I'm sure he's fine. You can click on an aircraft to go to it. The other thing is, when an airplane is on the runway and he's taking off, you cannot put another plane on the runway. I did it and it was game over. They have to wait, apparently. You notice over here there's two pink. And uh, I don't remember what it's for, but I think it means that they can take off on a shorter portion of the runway if you use the pink when they're taxiing. You always want to prioritize the rightmost aircraft. He's going to have takeoff clearance. So as soon as that option is available, he gets it, and he's going to have it also. So the yellow is landing. And the green is going to depart. I believe that it's in red because there's a delay, but I'm not sure. So here I'm going to have a problem where this guy needs to go north but there's another plane coming through. So I have to wait until he passes.
And you do want to check everything on the map constantly because you could easily have another problem somewhere. For example, this one here could easily conflict with this one here. Unfortunately, we can't see this aircraft. I'm going to have him hold short of the runway just in case a plane needs to land. This blue 102 is going to have to land on that runway. I usually make the map the exact size of the space. I'm going to have him go over here on the outside just in case. So this aircraft over here is going to take off. You can click on this aircraft, you see how it draws a line? If the aircraft in front is within the line, he's on the same runway. You notice the green one here is next to the blue line because he's on a different runway. So he's taking off right now. This one's yellow, so he is landing. I'm going to give him landing clearance. You definitely want to know what's going on at all times.
So I got to make sure this one doesn't conflict with this one. He's going to push back. Every time you properly uh, do an action, your score goes up. So he is going to push back. I'm going to get him out to here if I can. To try to avoid any problems. So you see we got a problem here with this one and this one. I am going to approve ta taxiing. See if I can get him to go around. No, I guess I can't. So he's just going to wait. Got landing clearance. It is possible you might have so much going on that you can't click on everything. I've had that happen before. So we've got a plane that's about to land. This one over here is probably going to take the right runway, which is 34R. These will probably take the left runway. So I got a potential collision with these two I got to watch out for. This one up over here has to go to here. So he's going to have to stop at some point to let the other aircraft go by. But they're probably going to pass anyway, so it won't matter.
So he's already passed, and there won't be a collision with these two aircraft. You can see they're passing each other now. Here you can see that the two aircraft are passing each other. He's got landing clearance. He has to go here to avoid this uh, aircraft, the Blue 552. So he's approved for taxiing, but he could still have a problem with this other aircraft, but he probably won't. He looks good. Because of the runway he's on, I'm going to have him line up and wait. Because it looks like this aircraft is going to land. So I'm going to let him land first. Okay, what's going on? Fine.
I'm going to adjust it so I can see the planes coming in. So we got this aircraft landing as soon as he passes the runway. Uh, this one is going to take off. He's got landing clearance. Once I did the lineup and wait while the plane was taking off and it ended the game. So he's going to wait. This one has to wait because too many aircraft in the area. Got takeoff clearance. This plane just landed, so he's going to go from the tower to the ground handling. The blue ones always remain underground. They never go to tower. got taxiing approved. Okay, he's going to have to wait. This one has landing clearance. I give him the landing clearance. So he can take off. I already checked and he's cleared. So he has to uh, wait for the aircraft to land before he can cross the runway. And you got to do it as quickly as possible. If you don't, then I had a risk factor increase 
plane landed, I hit cross runway, and it still had a problem because another plane needed to land. Okay, so he can cross the runway. No longer with the ground crew is now when they switch to the tower, then they can take off. But if they're with the ground, then they can't. He's on the left runway. So this one can take off right now. This one's easy. I think the ones on the bottom might have higher priority, but I'm not sure. He looks good. Want to switch to the guys on the right as quickly as possible. We got a possible conflict with this one and this one. The planes on the left. He's going to move to ground and then to tower and then to departure. The ones on the right will go from approach and then to tower and then to ground. Now I'm picking this one because he's going to this runway. I'm constantly checking um, the mini map to make sure that there's no potential head on collision. Got landing clearance. He's on the left runway, which means that this aircraft can take off. So he has no problem. He'll get right to his destination. You prioritize the ones on the right, and also the yellow ones are usually more important than the green ones. So he's over here, and he's got to go over to here. 
going to click the northern one. Otherwise, it's going to take him longer to get there. This one is over here, and he's going to that runway 34R. And I take, I could take either one, but I'm going to take the northern one in this case, just for consistency. He looks clear on his route, so I'm going to approve him. You can see I landed 14 planes. He's going to land on the right runway. I don't want to take a chance, so I'm going to wait and see what happens before he crosses the runway. He might be too slow to get there. I'm going to have him cross the runway. This is a case where you should check how far away he is. Five nautical miles. So now you know whether it's safe. His taxi route looks good, so which of course you can change, but, but I'm going to approve it. And you see he crossed pretty quickly. He's at four nautical miles. There's a plane landing on this runway, so he has to wait. got taxiing approved. I think he can take off, but I want to wait until he's on the runway before I decide. And we'll check how far out he is. He's at eight nautical miles. So I'm going to give him the takeoff clearance. We're going to give him fastest exit. He looks good. I have had aircraft. I think what happened was a plane was crossing the runway. So the plane that was landing diverted automatically. And then it increased my risk score.
where he's doing the pushback, he's not going to have any potential collision because he's not on the taxiway. I'm going to have him wait. He's at three nautical miles. one's at four nautical miles. I'm going to have the guy wait before crossing the runway. Got a plane landing right over here. But again, if he gets on, he cannot line up and wait, I don't think. I think he has to wait until the plane has cleared the runway. I'm going to have him line up, see what happens. I'm sure he's fine now. The guy who needs to cross the runway is right here. So I'm going to have him cross the runway right now. Got a plane waiting over here. I think he can taxi because the other aircraft are taxiing using a different route. So he's going to taxi parallel, but I got to watch when he gets down to the bottom here. He's on the left runway, so this one can get the takeoff clearance. I'm going to have him taxi up on the blue just in case. As you see, this other one has to cross over. Okay, so I made a mistake here. Give him takeoff clearance. It's funny, I don't see that aircraft. Where is he? He's got to wait. He's going to cross the runway as soon as that plane comes in. You can see there he is right now. I'm going to give him fastest exit.
He looks good. He looks good. He looks good. They both look good. When they have him hold, you see that there's a plane in front of him. The one that I'm holding, it does not indicate that he's being held. So you, there's no indicator, so you have to restart manually. You can give landing clearance, and then I think you can revoke it. Make sure he's on the left runway, which is correct. So... This one can take off. You'll notice that there's a lot of aircraft on the ground. That means that there's a high potential of a collision on the ground. Got to check this one. He looks good. He looks good. He looks good. He looks good. I've had 20 aircraft land in 48 minutes. This removes the map. This um, is for these over here. This is the line that connects the two. You see that AR turns on and off the route. This one, I'm going to give the takeoff clearance because he's landing on the left. These are all landing on the left. So he's going to have to taxi down to here. And you can send them to any runway you want. If you want to have them taxi to another runway, it's easy. But it might cause a problem in the air after he takes off.
I've never had a long line of planes. At any given time, maybe the most I've had waiting is two or three. He's got takeoff clearance. Got taxiing approved, looks good. So I guess I didn't get to this one fast enough. It's pretty far away. He has takeoff clearance. There's nobody landing on the right runway. These guys are landing on the left runway. He's going to taxi. This one's clear. So you see over here, time is 8.54, and it says 8.55. So expect him at 8.55, he disappeared, no longer on the map. He is still parked at that location. So at some point, he is going to uh, be back in the game when he's ready to take off. One thing I haven't seen is I haven't seen a plane come in with low fuel or any emergency. So he's at six nautical miles. I think it's safe to cross the runway. He's going down to here to runway five, so I'm going to do the pushback with the north. Probably gonna have to wait. He's also going down to runway five, so he's gonna go up over here.
He's at three nautical miles. You see the go around? That means he's not going to land. We're going to wait for him to land and then cross the runway. When he's speaking, you cannot click on one of the buttons. You have to wait until he's done speaking. So we're going to see him pass the aircraft. is right there and then I'm going to have him cross the runway and he can taxi You see it says Yamaguchi Ube. Uh, that's where he's coming from. And where they're coming from, they might come from the north, they might come from the south, is dependent on which runway they're going to take. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break because I am hungry. So if you have any questions, go to my forum at cheapbooks.cc and look in the airline management uh, games section. And I do own cheapbooks.com. You can go there to look for books and textbooks. And if you have any other questions, please post below.